Hi guys, Sarge so speaking from Walk Primus. Yes, I am dressed a little bit differently than normal. Uh, about to head off to church here in a minute. And I uh, kind of want to talk about something today. It's a little bit of a supplemental to the H5 video. H5 being uh, hygiene, personal hygiene, and also first aid. But remember in the video, I did talk about uh, another aspect, more of a mental aspect also. I kind of include first aid, hygiene, and uh, mental uh, status while in a survival situation, emergency situation. I, I consider all of them in, in one category. So I will warn you, this is going to be a bit of a spiritual video. So if you are someone who is not spiritual, does not believe in, in a, uh, a higher power or, or God, then uh, this might not be a video for you to watch, so you can just go ahead and click off and cancel. So this is your warning. Or if you are one of someone of that of that uh, status, you know, continue to watch. Maybe you'll maybe you'll uh, benefit from it, gain some. But uh, all through history, all different kinds of situations and, and all different uh, uh, all different stories you hear, whether it's survival situations, disasters, emergencies, even wartime. Uh, POWs and, and uh, people that lived on, that were in prison under uh, communist regimes and whatnot. Uh, you always hear one one factor that gets them through. Uh, a lot of people will tell you in those situations they relied on God and they prayed and it was their faith. They will ultimately tell you it was their faith that got them through and it is their and it was God that got them through their situation and uh, gave them peace, gave them strength, and gave them courage. And uh, I'm proud of myself as, as a Christian, as a believer in God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I know that God has been there for me in a few situations. I am a combat veteran. There's been a couple times that I've had close calls, times in the civilian world that, you know, just made me stop and wonder and say, wow, if it wasn't for God, I don't think I would have got through that situation. There's been times in my life of struggles and problems I had to deal with in my life that it was because of God, it was because of my faith my belief in the Bible, my belief in God's Word, and my spirituality, that uh, my prayer life that got me through that situation. And the same is going to be um, for anybody in the survival situation. Uh, it, it's a great mental impact. Uh, you, you see throughout history, in any story you, you, you read, that um, both failures and successes in emergencies, disasters, and survival, that uh, that person's faith had a lot to deal with, it, had a lot to do with it. And, uh, um, Having a good, strong prayer life, but having a good, strong faith and a belief, you know, is very important. Now, I am a Christian, but I'm not going to sit here and try to convert you to be a Christian. You know, if that's something that you want, you can contact me on the side. But that's not the purpose of this video. Um, the purpose of this video is part of your survival preparedness, and something that should be part included in survival preparedness is your relationship with your God, is your prayer life, is your trust in Him faith in Him and uh, continual prayer that um, in devotion to your, to your God and uh, to that He will provide for you, knowing and having that confidence and that trust in Him. And one of the greatest ways that we can build that, obviously, you know, for us Christians is through Scripture, through the Bible, for, for uh, those who follow Islam, through the Quran. And uh, one part of our equipment in, in in our pack that we can consider adding into it is our scripture, or is our Bible. You know, the Bible, for instance, comes in many wonderful small sizes. It even comes in camouflage for all you uh, people that want to be tactical. Um, you know, it, it's something that, you know, I've since put this in my pack, you know, and, and keep it with me. I don't like to go anywhere without one because uh, it is something I rely on. It is something that I, I hold dear to me and always try to keep myself, in, um, you know, I keep myself grounded in the Word, you know, every day. It's a daily routine for me. And uh, so it's something that I definitely will keep in my pack and will keep, you know, you can get a small print Bible, put it in a Ziploc bag or waterproof container, however you like to waterproof your equipment. Put it in there and just leave it in there. If you buy an extra one, you know, have the one that you read on a day-to-day -day basis, go to church with whatnot, you want to have one that you just leave in your pack so you know it's going to be there. And if you were in a situation, you could pull that out of your pack and you can open it up and you can pull from within the scripture the strength and the encouragement and the faith that you need. Because that mental stimulus is going to help you out. Uh, prayer is a miracle. Prayer. Miracles happen through prayer. Power happens through prayer. Uh, God's, you know, God's going to look down on you for your faith and your trust. And he's going to, he's going to help you out. Like I said, to those who don't believe in a God, 
this is nothing. To them. You know, they're not they're not going to look at this. They're going to look at this and say, ah, that's a bunch of baloney. But those of us who do have faith, those of us who do believe, it's because we've had things that happen. We felt the things. We've had things happen in life. We've seen things happen in other people's lives. We know it's true. So have something in your kit that's going to help you rely on that and fall back on that. You know, and, and, and gain strength. Um, if you're not a Christian, if you're if you you know follow uh, uh, you know read the Quran. You got the small print Quran. And almost any faith out there has a small print uh, scripture in the Bible. So regardless of what you what you follow, what you believe, you know you can put your faith in your kit. You can you can put something in your kit that when you're in that situation, when you find your your mental status you know dwindling, when you find the, the psychological pressure. Like the swab, you down, you have something that you can pull to for inspiration. Um, one story I like to share is, a, is of a POW. This is during World War II, and uh, he was a Christian, and he had a, and uh, he was a POW camp in China. And apparently, missionaries came to that, that POW camp and were trying to uh, issue Bibles. And, uh, I don't know if they're Red Cross, but some some uh, uh, people were coming to help them out. Chinese allowed, or I'm sorry, the Japanese allowed, I'm sorry, um, but obviously they didn't want to allow these Bibles to say, so they confiscated them, and uh, while this POW was in prison, he there, uh, he, was, he was given the task of cleaning out uh, the, uh, the uh, porta potties, so he had that nasty, disgusting dude. And of course, you know, I can't even begin to explain what it must be like to be in a POW situation. I'm not even going to try all I know is it has to be a lot of pressure, a lot of, a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow, a lot of discomfort. One, he's cleaning out his, uh, out his, uh, crapper. You know, he noticed something in it. He noticed a piece of white paper. And he pulled it out, he cleaned it off, and he found out it was a page in the bottom. The next day, he was cleaning out the, out the, doing the same detail. He reached down there, he saw a piece of white paper, he pulled it out. He was cleaning, cleaning it off, and here's a page of the Bible. Here what happened is one of the prison guards who confiscated one of his Bibles was ripping it out every day, page by page, and using it for toilet paper. Well, that prisoner realized that, so every day he volunteered for that duty. And page by page, he started putting together a Bible. Not the whole complete Bible, but, you know, it, it was something. It was the world to them. It, it rekindled his faith. Rekindled his spirit, rekindled his trust in God, and that is what got him through that ordeal. And even through that ordeal, he had the scriptures, and he was able to talk to other, other uh, prisoners and uh, to help motivate them and help, uh, you know, uh, give them spiritual insight and some uh, and some hope. So it's a very important piece of put your equipment. Keep mine and my equipment, my pack, and, and I hope you are one of faith regardless of what it is, that you will also pull in your faith and, and keep that with you. Because if you're in that situation, you know, it's easy to say we're prepared now when we're not in that situation. But you don't know where you'll be when you're in that situation when something happens to you and you do need to rely on something. So just as much as a fire kit, a water kit, and any other kit, you know, a first aid kit, consider it as part of a first aid kit. You know, that's why I put it in there with hygiene. You have your physical first aid, Got your spiritual first aid kit that you need to do with kids. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something from this video. And I hope this video uh, helped you out consider another aspect of the survival uh, philosophy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'm starting speaking with her.